Hey guys, this is an HP DeskJet 2855 ePrinter. In today's video, I'll show you how to remove the top cover. Removing it will give you access to inside of the printer. And the reason for that may be um, actually multiple reasons. Sometimes you just may want to remove stuff that may have fallen into the printer. You may want to fix something, repair some parts or anything like that. So let me show you how to remove this cover. It will only require removing seven screws that are all the same size. We're going to need a Torx size 10 screwdriver tip to remove the screws. Um, so two screws are located right here. If you kind of lift your tray, you will see the two screws right there. There's one right there and another one here. Then we have two screws that are kind of under here in this area but in order to have access or easy access to them i'll show you how to remove this this is three screws that are holding this cover and removing that little tray will allow you to remove this tray that will give us access to remove the screws here so let's go ahead and get right to it make sure your printer is turned off and unplugged one screw is right here the other one is right there now let's go over here. Three screws right there. Now we need to remove this tray. Go ahead and open it and push this side in and it just pops out right there and just remove this side. And now we have the access to our final two screws that are located right here on the bottom. Once again, uh, all screws are same size, so you don't need to worry about which one goes where. We have all the screws off now. Let's go ahead and remove the cover. You're going to need a, a little bit of help from a flathead screwdriver for the front area right here but well, first what we'll need to do is just kind of like lift this up grab from the back right here kind of like that and then gently lift it up make sure you don't just yank it up because there are two wires that are connected so just go ahead and use the flathead screwdriver to help push it out from the front and then over here just go ahead and lift it kind of backwards. There we go. So lift it like this, kind of out of the printer and back. Now we see where the wires are connected. This wire goes to the control panel. Let's go ahead and just pull that wire out. This wire goes to the scanner. So let's go ahead and remove those. And those are the only two wires that are connected from the main board or from the base of the printer to the top section. After we have those two wires disconnected, we can just go ahead and pull the top of the printer off. So this is the top of the printer. And now we have the access to inside of the printer. It's very simple, honestly. It's um, not too much work so if you have things in here if you had a paper jam or something at one point and you know that there's stuff stuck in here on the right or left side uh, eventually they may cause uh, damage to your printer that you will not be able to fix so it's best to just get rid of those things out of there um, another thing you can do is clean these pickup rollers with time they will accumulate dust and just are going to skip on picking up paper that's easier, much easier access from here than having to go from the uh, from the top like I did in the other video. So this is much easier to do so. This is the timing strip. It's a, a very thin film. If it's ripped, it's going to just bang these um, cartridges from right to left with like this noise. And then it obviously won't print anything because this is kind of like the direction that it gives where the print heads should go. The main board is right here. This is the wireless card. Um, everything's here. 
So it's it's very simple to access to maintain your printer to clean it to repair it. Simple as that. So whenever you're all done with your repair, let's go ahead and put everything back. So first we just kind of um, position this top cover over here so we can connect the wires. Just go ahead and put this here and we can connect the scanner wire. Just goes right in there, make sure it's fully in there. And then we can connect this um, control panel wire. Also just slides in there, very simple. Just kind of throw this back in, make sure everything is flush and properly clicked in there. If it's not, just go ahead and pick it up and try again. There we go. At this point, I recommend turning the printer on, plugging it in, and make sure everything works before you go on to put all the screws back. Press the power button, make sure everything works. Now the control panel works and the light goes on right here. So that means we've connected everything properly and we can go on to uh, putting all the screws back in. Then these two right here. Now we need to put this output tray back. So we're gonna put it right here to this right side. And then you will see kind of like a cutout right there that gives you the chance just to push it in and it's in there. Easy as that. And three final screws. We're gonna put this tray like that. So this is the top facing up. Put it like this here. So as simple as that. Everything works here. And we're good to go. So this is how it's done. I hope this video was helpful for you or entertaining. Uh, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my other content, and have yourself a great day.